The end of your junior year is ground zero for your most important college preparation. So be sure to set aside time to work on choosing colleges and preparing applications at least once a month, just to make sure you're on track. One really important thing you'll want to take care of in the spring or summer after your junior year is to line up letters of reference for college applications and scholarships. This will give whoever writes your recommendation plenty of time to get it written and submitted before dozens of other students ask them for recommendations come fall. This is also where your effort to create good relationships with teachers as a freshman and sophomore will really pay off. Plan to get at least three recommendations. You'll want one from a core curriculum teacher, science, math, English, language, arts, or history. Be sure to ask people with whom you've created a genuinely good relationship. Other people to ask for a recommendation might be your boss, a school counselor, a mentor, tutor, coach, or anyone at REC. Now for the letter. Make sure to give the person recommending you a resume and your list of academic accomplishments. And don't forget to add specifics about a challenging paper or project and what you learned in the process of creating it. Don't just add a list of places you volunteered. Explain why you volunteered and maybe a specific story showing what you gained from the experience. List organizations you choose to join and why and any awards or unique experiences that reflect who you are as a person. You can also include a paragraph on the greatest life challenge you've had and how you overcame it and how it will shape your future. Prep Scholar founder Alan Chang suggests you let the people who recommend you know why you want to attend a specific college or university and your goals for the future. Use key words that may help people who recommend you describe you most accurately, creative, motivated, independent, a leader, confident, persistent, collaborative, mature, ambitious, that you have integrity and show initiative, are empathetic, respectful, and concerned for others, that you're intellectual with clear and unique written expression and ideas, effective in class discussions, not afraid to speak up, disciplined, work hard in and out of school. List your standout traits and ask your teachers to consider your potential for growth, what it's like to interact with you, and why you are likely to succeed. They should be able to show how your previous successes and successful trades indicate how you'll succeed in college and eventually in your career. We here at REC are happy to help you create these lists and pull together this information. You can also give those who recommend you a sample letter so that they have an effective format to follow. Just ask us. Check back with the people writing your recommendations regularly and be polite. Let them know your deadlines and ask if there's any other information you can provide them before they send your recommendation. Be sure the people who recommend you know how to email their letter to the Common App if you're using it or to the specific email address of your admissions counselor. The same goes for letters of recommendations for scholarships. You want these letters to end up with the right person. Finally, once your letters of recommendation are sent, be sure to contact each person who wrote you one and give them a heartfelt thank you for their time, help, encouragement, kind words, and consideration of your future. It's also very nice to let them know if you were accepted into the college or were awarded the scholarship. Everyone likes to hear some good news. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.